Welcome. As the days grow shorter and the air turns crisp, anticipation is building across Europe. People are pulling out their warmest coats, and cities are lighting up with festive decorations, all while wondering what kind of winter lies ahead. As we approach winter 2025 to 26, everyone's asking, will it be mild and wet or a classic deep freeze? Will we see endless gray skies and drizzle, or will snow blanket the streets, transforming cities into winter wonderlands? The uncertainty is on everyone's mind, from families planning holidays to farmers preparing their fields. This year, Europe's winter forecast is especially unpredictable, thanks to a dramatic clash of global weather patterns. The atmosphere is a battleground with powerful forces pushing and pulling, making it harder than ever to predict what's coming. It's not just one factor at play, several major climate drivers are interacting, making meteorologists work overtime to piece together the puzzle. The main culprits? They're not just names in a textbook, they're real forces shaping our daily lives. A returning La Nina in the Pacific, which can send ripples across the globe influencing jet streams and storm tracks far beyond its origin. This phenomenon often brings cooler, wetter conditions to some regions, while others may see unexpected warmth. Then there's the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air that can sometimes escape the Arctic and plunge southward, bringing sudden cold snaps. And don't forget the North Atlantic Oscillation or NAO which can tip the balance between stormy and calm, wet and dry. These heavy hitters will decide if we're grabbing umbrellas for relentless rain or snow shovels for icy driveways. Their combined effects can mean wild swings in weather, sometimes within just a few days. Their interplay will shape our winter from December through February, influencing everything from daily commutes to weekend getaways. No two winters are ever quite the same and this one promises to keep us guessing. This isn't just about comfort. These patterns affect heating bills, travel plans, agriculture, and even government planning for emergencies. A colder winter could mean higher energy costs, while a stormy season might disrupt flights and supply chains. Our goal is to break down these complex drivers, explore the likely winter timeline, and give you a region-by-region -region outlook. We'll help you understand what to expect, so you can plan ahead with confidence. We'll cover snow chances, storm risks, and what it all means for your daily life. Whether you're hoping for a white Christmas or dreading icy roads, we've got you covered. Get ready for a dynamic season, let's dive into the forces that will shape it. The story of this winter is just beginning, and it's sure to be full of surprises. Here's what's coming up next as we unravel the mysteries of Europe's winter forecast. Let's meet the three main players steering our winter. Three powerful forces that shape the season's mood across Europe, often working together in surprising ways to create everything from gentle thaws to record-breaking cold snaps. La Nina, the polar vortex, and the NAO. Each one is a major driver of winter weather, but it's their interactions that truly set the stage for what Europe experiences each year. La Nina is a cooling of the Pacific Ocean's surface, but its ripple effects reach Europe by disrupting the jet stream, often leading to colder, more unpredictable weather. When La Nina is active, it can send the jet stream on a wild ride, steering storms and cold air toward the continent. This means that even though the phenomenon starts thousands of kilometers away, its impact can be felt in the form of sudden snowfalls, icy winds and dramatic temperature swings across Europe. The polar vortex is a swirling mass of cold air over the North Pole. Think of it as a giant icy crown encircling the Arctic, keeping the coldest air locked in place, at least most of the time. When it's strong, Europe stays mild. The vortex acts like a barrier, holding back the harshest Arctic air and allowing milder Atlantic breezes to dominate the weather. But if it weakens or splits, Arctic air can spill south, bringing deep freezes. This is when Europe can suddenly plunge into severe cold, with blizzards and icy winds sweeping across cities and countryside alike, sometimes with little warning. The NAO is a pressure seesaw over the Atlantic. It's a tug of war between high and low pressure systems that controls the flow of air masses into Europe. In its positive phase, it powers up the jet stream, bringing mild, wet weather. Atlantic storms sweep in, making for rainy days and relatively warm nights, especially in Western Europe. In its negative phase, it blocks Atlantic air, letting cold from the north and east invade Europe. The real drama? How these three interact. When the NAO turns negative, it can open the door for Siberian or Arctic air to surge in, transforming the weather almost overnight. La Nina can destabilize the polar vortex, which often triggers a negative NAO, a domino effect that can flip Europe from mild to frigid. 
This chain of events can set off a cascade of weather changes making forecasting especially tricky. This potential combination has forecasters on high alert, especially for the second half of winter. Meteorologists are constantly analyzing data, searching for early signs that one event might trigger another. One event can trigger the next, shifting Europe's weather from Atlantic-driven to a much colder continental pattern. A mild, rainy week can quickly give way to snow and ice if the balance tips. It's a chain reaction that makes this winter's outlook especially challenging. The unpredictability keeps everyone guessing, from city planners to families planning their holidays. Forecasters are watching these signals closely. Every shift in the Pacific, every wobble in the vortex, and every swing in the NAO is scrutinized for clues about what's coming next. The stakes are high, and the outcome is still uncertain. For millions across Europe, these patterns will decide whether winter is a gentle season or a fierce one. Understanding these drivers is key to anticipating what's ahead. By decoding their signals, we can better prepare for whatever winter has in store. Let's break down each one in detail. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries behind Europe's wild winter weather. Let's dig deeper into La Nina. Cooler Pacific waters may seem distant, but they disrupt the jet stream, which steers Europe's storms. La Nina often blocks the usual west-to-east flow, building high pressure near Greenland or Scandinavia. This atmospheric wall blocks mild Atlantic air, opening the door for cold Arctic or Siberian air to sweep into Europe. The result? Higher odds of significant cold snaps, especially later in winter. With a moderate La Nina expected, the stage is set for disruption. It increases the chance of an unstable polar vortex and a negative NAO. La Nina doesn't guarantee a cold winter, but it loads the dice for colder, more wintry spells. It's the foundation for this season's forecast. Now let's focus on the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold, dense air that sits high above the Arctic, acting like a giant icy lid on the top of the world. Alongside it is the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. Together they form a powerful tag team that controls the movement of cold air across the northern hemisphere. When the polar vortex is strong and stable, it keeps the frigid Arctic air locked up far to the north, preventing it from spilling southward into Europe and other regions. But this winter, the presence of La Nina in the Pacific is expected to shake things up, making the polar vortex more vulnerable to disruption and increasing the odds of dramatic weather shifts. When the vortex weakens, wobbles, or even splits apart, it can unleash waves of bitterly cold air, sending them surging south into Europe and beyond. This is especially likely if a sudden stratospheric warming event occurs, an atmospheric phenomenon that rapidly heats the upper layers of the atmosphere, destabilizing the vortex and setting off a chain reaction. Such events often trigger a negative phase of the NAO, which shifts atmospheric pressure patterns and paves the way for cold air invasions. The result? The Atlantic jet stream weakens and meanders, blocking the usual flow of mild, moist air from the ocean and allowing cold, dry, arctic air to dominate. This means Europe can suddenly find itself gripped by icy winds, snow, and a deep chill that can last for weeks. These conditions set the stage for major cold spells with heavy frost, snow-covered streets, and widespread impacts on daily life. This tag team of cold air is most likely to swing into action after New Year's, as the heart of winter arrives and the risk of Arctic outbreaks climbs. January and February are the months to watch, with a higher chance of intense cold snaps and winter storms sweeping across the continent. Early winter may start off on a milder note, with rain and relatively warm temperatures lulling people into a false sense of security. But as the season progresses, the odds of a dramatic cold flip increase, and temperatures can plunge quickly. The forecast is truly a tale of two halves, mild and manageable to start, then potentially severe cold and snow as winter deepens. So, stay alert for sudden changes. This winter's tag team could bring surprises when you least expect them. So, what's the big picture for Europe's winter? Expect a split season, a mild wet start, then a sharp turn to cold. December and early January will likely see Atlantic-driven weather, mild, wet and windy, especially in Western and Northern Europe. Flooding and gales are the main risks early on, with snow mostly limited to high ground. But as January turns to February, blocking patterns could cut off Atlantic air, letting cold, dry air sweep in from the north and east. This transition could be abrupt, bringing a dramatic temperature drop and widespread frost. The second half of winter will see increased risks of snow, ice and deep freezes, even in cities that rarely see them. 
agriculture, infrastructure, and travel will all be tested. Don't be fooled by a gentle start. Winter's real bite may come late. Prepare for a season of two very different halves. For the UK, Ireland, France, Benelux, and Scandinavia, expect a winter with two personalities. December brings Atlantic storms, rain, wind, and above-average temperatures, with snow only on the highest ground. Flooding and coastal gales are the main early threats, but from mid-January, blocking highs could cut off mild air, letting cold easterlies take over. Temperatures will drop, and the risk of snow and ice at lower levels will surge. Scandinavia could see even more intense cold, especially if Siberian air arrives. Don't be lulled by a mild start, the real winter may hit late and hard, prepare early for a dramatic shift. Central Europe, Germany, Poland, Austria, Czech Republic will see even sharper contrasts. December stays mild, with rain in the lowlands and snow only in the Alps. The main early hazard icy roads from freeze-thaw cycles. Ski resorts may see a slow start at lower altitudes, but in January and February, blocking patterns could unleash Siberian air, plunging temperatures and bringing widespread snow. Cities like Berlin and Warsaw could face major travel chaos from repeated snowfalls. Heating demand will soar, and infrastructure will be strained. Prepare for a winter that starts gently, but ends with a fierce icy punch. Southern Europe, Spain, Portugal, Italy, the Balkans, will have a stormy wet winter. La Nina and a negative NAO push the storm track south, bringing heavy rain and flooding risks to the Mediterranean and Iberian Peninsula. While lowlands stay mild and wet, mountains like the Pyrenees and Alps could see epic snowfall. Good news for ski resorts but also a higher avalanche risk. Flash floods and landslides are possible in vulnerable areas. The snow line may rise and fall, but mountain snow will be abundant. Residents should prepare for dynamic often stormy conditions. The south may dodge the deep freeze but it won't be a quiet winter. So, what's the bottom line for Europe's winter? Expect a mild wet start, then a sharp cold and snowy finish for much of the continent. Southern Europe faces storms and heavy rain, while the north and center brace for late-season cold. Remember, this is a long-range forecast, probabilities not certainties. Small shifts in La Nina, the polar vortex or NAO can change everything. Stay updated with local forecasts as winter unfolds. Prepare your home, car and travel plans for severe weather. A little preparation now can make a big difference later. This winter promises surprises. Stay informed, stay safe, and be ready for anything. That's the outlook. Now here's what's happening in your area.